Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a partial differential equation, which is actually pretty basic to do, but I've done a problem about partial differential equations before, that was a system, if I can find it I'll share the link down below. Or if you can find it you can do that as well. So we have the partial f over partial x, some people call this del, del also means something else, Anyways, we have the partial derivative of f with respect to x, and it's equal to 3x squared plus 2y. And we're supposed to solve for f, but we're also given another equation, which I'll talk about. f of 1 comma y is given as y plus e to the power y. And there's a good reason why this was given. By the way, this is a homemade problem. So, you know. Anyways, so... What is that supposed to mean? Well, f is a function of two variables, x and y. That's why its derivative, you know, contains x and y, doesn't have to, but you can see that on the right-hand side. And the second equation given is kind of like an initial condition so that you can determine some stuff, which we'll get to a little bit later, okay? So let's go ahead and see how we can solve this equation a partial differential equation, which is a very basic one, but for starters, I think it's a good thing. And we can hopefully tackle harder ones later. Let me know what you think. So, we have this derivative, so what should we do to find f? So if you were given f prime, you would do integrate it, right? So we can do the same thing. We can go ahead and integrate 3x squared plus 2y, but we're going to need to do that with respect to x, because Basically, if you integrate partial f over partial x dx, that should give you f with a constant, right? Let's just, let's not worry about the constant right now, but something is going to be added because when you differentiate to get the integrand back, uh, you, that'll disappear because the derivative of a constant is zero. The rate of change of a constant is zero. So how do you differentiate or, I mean, integrate this with respect to x? That means you will treat y as a constant. So remember, y is a constant. Anything that contains y only, no x, is a constant. So 2y is a constant. And 3x squared, if you integrate it by the power rule, it's going to become x cubed. And then, and it's going to give you fx comma y because f is a function of two variables. And since 2y is a uh, constant, the integral is of 2y is just going to be 2yx. Why? Because if you were integrating, let's say, 2dx, that would be 2x, right? So you basically take the constant, multiply by x, because the integral of dx is just x plus a constant. Anyways, we're not dealing with constants yet. We're, we're going to add that at the end. So this should be the integral plus a constant like c, right? Okay, you got to be very careful here because c is not just some arbitrary constant. Yes, it is arbitrary at this point, but it's also very special because this is a function of two variables and when you differentiate with respect to x or integrate with respect to x, y is considered a constant. So instead of c, I can add a function of y and not why not just y because we don't necessarily know it's y it could be y squared y cubed y to the millionth power something that is a function of y and when you differentiate with respect to x it'll be zero make sense so let's go ahead and replace the c then with a function of y, how can, we, how can we represent a function of y? How about g of y? We used f already in the original, so let's use g, right? And then we can use h if needed. In the problem that we've done a while ago, the system, we kind of differentiate or integrate both equations, right? That gives us the f. But we could also go off of the derivatives, which is another story. But here we only have one equation. The second equation is the initial condition. What is that supposed to mean? That condition was given to you so you can determine what g of y is. Because right now it kind of seems arbitrary, right? g of y, what is that supposed to mean? It could be anything. So in other words, if the second equation wasn't given, x cubed plus 2yx, 
without adding anything else because zero is a function of y, right? The zero function would be a solution. Or you could add y to this, or if you want, you could add y squared to this. Even you could add something like y cubed plus y squared plus 3y plus 4. Totally random. But the idea is it is a function of y. Does that make sense? And it should not contain x for that very reason. But we were given another equation. So how do we use that? The equation gives us f of 1 comma y equals y plus e to the y. Now, what is that supposed to mean? What does f1 comma y? This is a function of two variables. And inside the parentheses on the left-hand side, the argument is made up of like two variables, or we could call this an ordered pair. So f takes an ordered pair and returns a single value. Make sense? So we kind of, our function machine looks like this, and then we'll have a single output, right? Like this. So you input x and y, our function works, and then you get an output, spits it out. So this means that x is one, because it's normally f of x comma y, but now we replace x with one, so that gave us f one comma y, or it was given. So what should we do in the solution that we found? f of x comma y, is x cubed plus 2yx plus g of y. Remember, g of y is a function of y, which is considered a constant with respect to x. We should replace x with 1 so that we can get f of 1 comma y. If you replace x with 1, you get 1. If you replace x with 1, you get 2y, and this just becomes g of y. Again, g of y we still don't know, but we can set it equal to this, which is the same thing, y plus e to the power y. Nice. So from here, what can we do? We can go ahead and solve for g of y. Make sense? Okay, we can go ahead and take this and that should basically uh, give us the value of g of y because if you isolate it, it'll be that you're gonna subtract 2y from y, it'll be e to the y minus y minus one. And since this is g of y and in the original solution, we have that. We can go ahead and put it back, like substitute, x cubed plus 2yx plus e to the y minus y minus 1. This should be the entire solution. Again, we were given an initial condition, so we could determine what that constant is at the end. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.